Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make barefoot sandals. Today's shout out goes to my daughter Ashley and Mackenzie Lane because they both wanted me to make a pair of barefoot sandals. And Mackenzie Lane writes, could you please make a pair of barefoot sandals without a chain? And so that is what I did. <laughs> this is the first time that I ever made barefoot sandals and I tried to make this pattern as easy as possible so that it would be easy for you to make too. One of the things that I really like about these sandals is that they make you feel so pretty when you wear them. So what I did was I made a pair for each of my daughters and some for my friends and a pair for me. <laughs> I also wanted my barefoot sandal to work easily with a pair of simple flip-flops. And they do! You just slide them over top of your barefoot sandal and they're easy to walk in. I also thought that it would be really cool to decorate your sandals to match your barefoot sandal. And maybe I'll do that in a future video if you're interested. I can't wait to show you how easy these are to make. So let's get started. Here's what you need to do this project. I used a clamp to hold my project onto the table. Beads. Scissors. I used hemp string for Ashley's sandals, but I really liked using nylon beading cord the best to string my beads. For my colorful string, I used crochet thread. The first thing I do is measure my string. You will need three pieces of string for each sandal. Two colorful strings and one using cord or hemp for the beads. Each string will be 100 inches, but what I do to measure my string is to measure 50 inches, fold it in half, and then cut it when it is even to the other end of the string. This makes it easy. After measuring the first string with a measuring tape, I use that string to measure the rest of my strings. Next I fold the three strings for my first sandal in half. It is time to make the loop that will go over your toe. I braid this part for strength. I make a knot at the spot where I think the bottom part of my loop will be. I put the longer side from the knot toward the front of my clamp like this and then clamp the string down. The next thing I do is braid my string until the loop is the size I want it. Then I tie a knot to make my loop. This is what your toe loop will look like when it is done. I clamp the toe loop down to the table. This is the design that I chose to do for Kimberly sandals. These are her favorite colors. Use your imagination to come up with creative bead patterns. Here are a few of my patterns. I mostly use glass beads, but I did use seashells and gemstones too. I followed my heart to make each pair of sandals unique to the person I was giving them to. Now I separate the strings three ways. I put my beading strings on the outside of my colorful strings like this. I lay my beads out according to the pattern I chose and then I start putting the beads onto the cord. I string the beads until they are about one inch in length. Here is a very helpful tip. I use super glue on the end of my cord to keep the ends of the cord from fraying. It makes the cord stiff on the end and easy for the beads to slide right on. This is especially handy when using the small beads. After the beads are on, it is time to make your macrame knots. We will make five knots between each bead set. The first knot starts on the right by making a loop and going under the center strings. The second step is to put your left string under your loop string. Then you bring your left string up and through the loop like this. Now pull your knot tight. I do the same steps on the left side for my second knot. We will alternate right and left knots until we make five knots. 
Make a left loop and go under the middle strings. Put your right string under your loop string and then put it into the loop. Now pull your knot tight. Once I have five knots, I push my knots up until my beads form what looks like a small circle. I continue this pattern until the top of my barefoot sandal is done. I measured my sandal to fit my foot and I think it will fit my girl's feet too. I stopped the pattern when I reached about four inches. If you are unsure of the size you need, you can measure the top of your foot for size. Now we split our strings in half. Two colorful strings and one beading cord on each side. I lay out the bead pattern that I will be using down next to my strings. I put my beads on the cord, which will be my middle string for this part of the sandal. For the split ankle section of the sandal, I alternate beads and five knots until I reach my desired length. I made mine about 11 inches, but you can experiment to make yours the length that you like best. When I do this section of my sandal, I do all five knots starting on the right side. It creates a pretty twisted look between the bead sections, like in this picture. Now that the beaded sections are done, I braid the rest of my string to the length I will use to tie a bow to hold my sandals on. I made all my sandals with 11 inch braided sections. Then I tied a simple knot and trimmed the end strings off. Here is another tip. If you make your braided section long and it needs to be shortened, it is easy to resize that part by tying a knot where you would like it and then simply cutting off the end. Now I want to show you how the barefoot sandal works and how you put it on. Take your loop and you put it over top of the middle toe like that. You lay the top on, on there and then you wrap your strings around like this. Now what I do is I tie this like that and then I tuck the end strings underneath of my beads like this until it's all tucked in nicely and that's how it works I hope that you enjoyed watching me make my barefoot sandals and I hope it inspires you to give this project a try don't forget to check out our Facebook page I'm going to post some pictures of all the sandals that I have made I also want to encourage you to go check out Making It Easy with Liz. I'm going to put a link to her channel down below so it'll make it easy for you to go check her out. Don't forget to leave your suggestions and your comments down below because you really do inspire me to do these videos. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! I thought that it would be super funny and fun to get the boys to imitate their sisters for their birthday. This is Ashley. He's going streaking! He's going streaking, SpongeBob! He's going streaking with his barefoot sandals! Lost his pants. <laughs> he's going streaking! Ah, he's going streaking! This one's Kimberly. It's hard getting old. 25 is a hard age. <laughs> I'm getting old like mom. <laughs> this one's Lindsay, but I wanted to hold the, the barefoot sandal. Lay it on my baby. My, my basketball baby. Maybe the NBA one time. Maybe two times. I can't play video games because I get dizzy. But I can definitely play with these barefoot sandals. My baby girl will love them. My friends are gonna look at this and they're gonna look at me and call me weird now. I'm gonna have no more friends. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ashley, Kimberly, and Lindsay! We, we love you!